Hey y'all, today I'm gonna show you how to make cauliflower steaks. Basically just big slices of cauliflower through the middle as opposed to small florets. So, got my, my head of cauliflower here. First thing I wanna do is I wanna start removing the leaves because I don't wanna eat them. So I just like to sort of start pulling them off. You can use a knife too to help and as I get closer in and they get a little bit harder to grab, I might use a knife to help with that. And I am in fact gonna use not that knife, one knife, this knife, to help just take a little bit of that stem off. Because as I'm sure you can sort of see, like there's, it's dark and gross, we don't eat that, take that away. Now I am actually gonna take this small paring knife to just cut some of the last for little remnants of the leaves away. Because with this, you know, I wanna keep pretty much most of it intact so that I actually create big thick steaks or, you know, full steaks that are still together, but I don't want to necessarily eat these leaves. So I'm gonna cut around, and I'm kind of trying to cut through the leaf, but not the, not the rest of the cauliflower. Now, I can also trim some of these after I cut the steaks. So, there we go, trimmed. Now, what I like to do, I mean, I'm sure you could, just cut across like that. But what I like to do is actually sort of cut through the middle and then cut to either side. So, and you don't get a whole lot of steaks out of one cauliflower necessarily, because the way that it works is it maintains its shape by being able to have, you know, this strong structure down the middle. So, cut once down that, and I don't know, maybe that's about half an inch to one side. other side, and I've got a couple of steaks. Now this one still has a pretty decent um, connection through it. So I'll get another little steak out of this one. But you can see it's starting to fall apart, not really being held together very well anymore. So that's kind of like a half steak. Then these other pieces that I have left over that I wasn't really able to make steaks out of, I would go ahead and pull them apart and just have florets left. So. As you can see, let me push this all to the side and give myself a little bit of a cleaner area. You can see some of the leaf remnants here, so I'm just gonna cut those off. Let's see if I'm not able to so like right here, those are leaf remnants. Just gonna take that off. So yeah, you get a couple of steaks out of there. So, you know, one head of cauliflower, you might get up to four steaks, depending on how thick the stem is but oftentimes you'll only really get two and a half. Let's call it two and a half. But again, then you use the rest of the head, make florets, cook it for something else. Probably what I'm gonna do with the recipe that I'm making steaks is I'll actually go ahead and roast the rest of these as well with the steaks and then um, and prepare them the, rest the same way. So I get kind of cauliflower two ways. All right, that's it.